Hi, this is Danielle with cookie.com. Thanks for joining me today as I unpack the search widget for you. The search widget allows your visitors to search your site's content and gives you the tools to design how that experience is. In Muse, you'll see in the library panel that the widget has a few different parts. So let's start unrolling these. I'm going to pull the main widget onto the page. Right at the top, you can decide what pages you would like to include in this search. To search your whole site, you can leave it on the first option. And any additional pages you would like to leave out of the search results can be added in this box below with commas to separate each page. Or you can select the second option to have only the inserted pages searched. This checkbox allows you to search all your page's content, but if you deselect it, you can have further control over the results for your visitors using the Searchables dropdown. Use the paragraph styles or this dropdown area within the text panel to make a line of text have attributes for headlines and paragraphs, or easily just insert the specific paragraph style you'd like to search within this area. Within the settings dropdown, you can determine how the links open, you can disable parts of the results, disable partial term searches, say how many results appear on a page, the minimum amount of characters search terms must have, the amount of words in the results description, and how many characters are before the styled search term. Interface text gives you the ability to customize the language of your search bar as well. Now within the word options widget, you are allowed to input related words for your visitors. For example, if I were to search dog, a related word could be pet or canine, and I would simply just input those words into these areas separated by a forward slash. If you need more than the allotted spaces given to you within the widget, just duplicate the widget onto the page. You can also input any terms you would like to ignore in this area, each separated by a comma. Now opening up the search bar widget, this first dropdown allows me to say whether I want the results on the same page or a different page. If you select a different page, input that name into the search results page area. Use these options to decide whether the results are appearing live as they're being typed or only after enter is pressed. Use the option panel styling to change the bar's padding, placeholder text, and color. Otherwise, the search bar can be customized using Muse styling panels. The search button can also be customized using Muse styling panels like fill, stroke, and the states panel. Just be sure to redefine the styles within the graphic styles panel. Now, if I place the results widget onto the page, you'll see within this area there are individual parts that are key to the search widget results. Be mindful of this notice of best practices when working with the search results, but you can delete it after you're done. If you would like to disable any part, simply use the checkbox area found within the main widget. If you'd like to make the results responsive, select the results container frame and use the resize panel to change its properties and the rest of the interior content will take on those options. Within the frame of the results panel, there is the graphic style examples for the number of results, the main title of the search, the link to the results, the way the searched term appears in the results description, the results description itself, the title for the related search section and the related terms appearance within that section, the navigational numbers when both active and unselected, and the appearance of the back and next button. In general, the parts of the results panel should not be removed. However, if you would like to remove a part of the results panel, we recommend you immediately preview the page and ensure that you're getting the results you would like. Each part can be styled just as a text box would. You can even add icons and imagery using the fill panel. To configure the spacing of each part, add padding through the spacing panel. The frame can have padding as well and can be edited within the text panel to design the notices like the no results text. For this example, I've created some pages with some text content. You'll see that the header and subheaders have been determined through the text panel and heading back to my search page. Within my main option panel, I've deselected search everything because I only want my search to look for H1s and H2s. Now if I preview, I can search for the titles to the articles and you can see I'm getting results. But if I search words found within the article, which is just lorem ipsum, I'm not seeing any results for my search. 
The search widget can be used with other Muse widgets like Accordion and the Composition widget to create interesting search bars for your pages. The possibilities are completely customizable for you, and you're given everything you need for beautiful search bars for your websites. Be sure to check out the documentation for the search widget for any more information that you may need. For now, this is Danielle with Cookie.com, and thanks for tuning in.